Recording. All right, so we're gonna do a demonstration of our CPU, our new Orion, Qualcomm Orion CPU versus the Intel Core Ultra 7. And we're compiling the exact same code in Visual Studio in the background now. And so you'll see it's gonna run, our CPU is gonna run it and their CPU is gonna run it. And ours takes about 35 seconds while theirs takes a little over a minute to do. So, and not only is it fast, but it's super efficient. So it's the leader in performance per watt. So you still get long battery life. And you can actually go up and you can, you know, you can touch it. You can see this is so much hotter. Uh, it's been running all day, both of them. So. Well, <coughs> obvious question is, of course, with Windows, how about the performance of emulation? Because a lot of software still runs on x86. 100%, that's great. All right, great question. So we're going to... Um, uh, we'll sh you'll see in your reviews that even apps that were have to run in em emulation still run faster oh. than uh, an Intel Core Ultra 7. So you, the, the, most people won't have to worry about like, oh, is this running native? Is it emulated? You won't feel a difference. And so 61, okay, so that was CPU. But the other thing we bring is we have a humongous NPU in here now, a 45 tops NPU. Well, they only have it like 11 tops NPU. So check this out. You have um, apps like, this is uh, DaVinci Resolve. So uh, in it, there's a lot of new apps that use neural networks on device to uh, do things like object detection. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna detect that object using the um, magic mask. We're gonna detect it on, on ours. But we wanna apply some effects to her, but we wanna do it over the next 23 seconds worth of video. So first we have to, analyze the video and track her through all the frames. So there's like 30 frames over uh, 30 frames a second over 20 in seconds, it's a lot. So it's using our NPU on ours, so you can see it's moving at seven frames per second. So it's not connected with Wi-Fi right now? Which only takes about a little over a minute. Theirs is moving at like two frames per second. It's gonna take upwards of five minutes. And you can see it's it's actually running on our on our NPU. If you go into task manager here, the neural network is running on the NPU, and you can see that there's tons of you know on-device AI experiences and reasons you would want to have a powerful NPU. On well, competitors also do NPUs, but yours is obviously yeah. quite a big one. So we have we have one more uh, thing we're showing at this event. We've got tons of examples now. But uh, let's stop this for a second, and we'll, we'll come over here and we'll show GIMP. So this is the uh, it's the popular photo editor here. Yeah. So we'll show. So we're running. Uh, we're going to showcase uh, the stable diffusion network running on the device on our MPU or stable diffusion running on their NPU. So it's both NPUs, it's not GPU, for example, on the right? Exactly. Okay. So NPU, NPU. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have an idea of something you'd like to turn text? Okay, how about a monkey? Try spider web, something with a spider web because... Oh, spider web, yeah, okay. A uh, spider web with... Uh, how, about, how about a spider web holding a cup of coffee? <laughs> sure. So yeah, it's not big, but you have a spider web holding a cup of coffee. All right, NPU versus NPU. Oh, we gotta load the model first. Hold on, it's gonna, it's gonna take a moment to load the model onto their NPU. But stable diffusion 1.5 on the 45 tops NPU versus stable diffusion 1.5 on the 11 tops NPU. Ready, set, generate. Really All right, yeah, so yeah. we Obviously, can run the generation AI model in just six seconds on here, and it's done. Yeah, yeah. It's never been so oh, I think the coffee it's came out behind it. <laughs> While theirs is going to take about, I don't know, it's still going. We're at 20 something seconds here. Yeah. And we got a better looking image. And the first laptop should be in the market about around when? Second half of 2024. Second half. And we have... Uh, because it was first in April, June... Uh, well, actually, so you'll, second, early second half of 2024, 
is when you'll be able to buy them and get them. You'll likely see announcements before them. Okay, and sure. we've announced that uh, Microsoft, Samsung, HP, Dell, Lenovo, Asus, Acer, Huawei. Most of them, Sorry, yeah. not Huawei. Uh, Honor. Yeah. Uh, Xiaomi. Okay. 